Hi, I'm Sarah Bruce and welcome to EHI TV. Now I'm joined by Neelam Dugar, who's a consultative radiologist and the chair of the UK PAX and Teleradiology Group and also one of EHI Live speakers. Welcome Neelam. Thank you, Sarah. So tell us a bit about the session that you've, that you've carried out today and what were you talking about? We were talking about the, the um, next generation PACs. We all know that the LSP contracts with the Department of Health come to an end in 2013. We're trying to educate the community, the, uh, the, the whole of the IT community, into the direction where we need to be going. Uh, PAX has been a huge success in the NHS, and, uh, the, and the reason for the success is, is the standards adoption. You know that all the modality vendors adopt ICOM as a standard, and it's, an, it's a global standard. Global standards adoption is key because most of the IT vendors are global, have a global pre presence. So it, which is why, because of DICOM, we've got uh, the, the uh, uh, images can be created in Siemens uh, machine, in a um, Philips machine, and they can all come together into an Agfa PAX or a GE PAX and be displayed by the PAX, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the PAX application. When we go into the next generation, we need to take the A out of the PAX, which is the archiving. Storage technologies are, uh, are uh, moving in leaps and bounds, and we had two s uh, speakers from the storage vendors uh, talking about this this morning, uh, uh, IBM and Accure. And they were, uh, uh, sorry, the IBM and Hitachi we have later on, but uh, Accure was talking about vendor neutral archiving. We need to take storage out of the packs, so take the A out of the packs. And uh, look at storage globally for, for an organization, for the, tr uh, for the trust. You need to look at storage globally rather than have storage stuck in a cardiology packs, a radiology packs, a, a departmental system, and every other clinical system. There are lots of uh, clinical systems within uh, secondary care IT. It's about bringing the storage together, consolidating the storage, and managing the storage better, because we're going to go undergo a, a, a data tsunami for, with the amount of data we're storing which is rightly so, but we need to manage that uh, data store better. So you mentioned there taking the archive, archiving out of PACS. So how do you actually see this evolving, say in five years' time? What will PACS look like? In my view, the PACS, uh, this morning as we described, there will be four layers. One which creates images and documents, like you have the departmental systems, like RISs, the CT scanner, which are modalities. You have a, a palmology system, a, a, a clinical letters system, theater system. All these systems, they create images and documents. They support scheduling. They create an image and a document which goes in the paper notes. In the future, uh, 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 there'll be another layer, which will be the in interoperability layer, which is the directory or registry, which records where all these, uh, you know, the, uh, the names of the patient demographics, so they have the metadata and they're storing it in a registry format. And then you have a display layer. The display layer will be the, the, what we see as a front end of PACS. And, that, and the, the fourth layer is the archiving layer, and all these four layers will be supplied by different vendors. So you have, you have the opportunity from going from a ven, one vendor supplying three systems, which is archiving, display, and uh, directory, which is the PAX vendor today, to all these three layers being supp supplied by different, uh, different vendors. So you'll have best of breed for all these three layers. We already have, thanks to the DICOM standard, we already have the, the fourth vendor. We have best of breed because the CT, MRI, ultrasound machines, we can choose what is the best of breed because all of them need to publish to DICOM to be get into displayed by PAX vendor. But now we need to break, fragment this better. And particularly, I think it's the archiving. We need to look at archiving uh, rather than it being fragmented. And uh, we look at consolidating archiving for all the modalities for all clinical systems.